Welcome back to my channel. I know that I haven't been talking in this vlog, so I decided to come on here. It's been like almost, <laughs> almost two weeks since um, I filmed since that uh, since the day that I showed you guys my food. Um, it has been like very, very crazy um, due to like the launch day. If you guys didn't know, I came out with my deep conditioner and that was like huge um i didn't know you guys were gonna respond in that way thank you guys so much for for your support because that was like one of the biggest launch days that i've ever had yet currently i am at um naraya's hair appointment i took her to the dry bar <laughs> oh my gosh the reason why i took her to the dry bar is because i wanted her hair to be straight but i didn't um the hair shop that we go to closed down and i didn't want to have to wait a very very long time in order to get her hair done which is what you typically have to go through when you try to get like hair appointment set up and i didn't want to straighten her hair myself because it's just way too much and i just don't have the patience so i took her to the dry bar we just went in there i think i'm gonna make a video on it but just to let you guys know the funny experience we went in there and i was like hi like i'm here for my appointment and as soon as i looked around i didn't see any black hairstylists my phone's ringing ah! so when we went to sit down i was like how long do you think this is going to take and she's like oh about 45 minutes and i was like uh-uh no no that's <laughs> like her hair is gonna take longer than that and so like she took her hair down she's like okay yeah this is gonna take a this is gonna take a while and i was like okay and i was like you know what i just need to ask her because it's gonna really bug me so i was like are you used to like doing this text she's like i'm so glad you finally said something she's like i knew that you were thinking that this whole entire time i was like <laughs> So she's like, yes, I'm I'm skilled with texture hair. I'm familiar with it. My boyfriend, I forgot what she said. I didn't really hear what she said her boyfriend was, but she said that he was like ethnic. And um, she's familiar with, with the type of hair that Naraya has. And I was like, Whoo. And she's like, do you want me to straighten it? And I'm like, yes. In the meantime, I did go over to Whole Foods while I sit in the car and wait. And I got, oh my gosh, guys, you have got to try this. This is so good. It's called Lester Evil. And it's um, popcorn that has no cheese on it. So it's vegan popcorn. Um, but it tastes like it has cheese on it. So they made like a no cheese cheese popcorn for vegan. By the way, I know you guys are so confused because in my last clip I was eating salmon. Um, I changed up my diet. I feel like maybe I should dress it now or I should make a video about it. Which one? It would just address a small part portion of it right now the end of summer um i decided to switch my diet because i was starting to feel super super tired um 
and it has a lot to do with the with the school that I used to go to as well. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I used to go to the Institute of Integrated Nutrition, um, IIN, which is in New York. It's a really big nutrition school. Um, they certify you in holistic health coaching, and you had to listen to a whole lot of like different perspectives on diet. You had to go to a lot of seminars and stuff like that. So one of the, I always tell you guys about this, but. It's like throughout different videos. The last time I talked about it was in my um, organic health video, which I'll put up here. And it's basically the lady spoke about intuitive eating. And that seminar has stuck with me since that, since I heard it. Like, I just felt like that that resonated a lot. Um, and she basically talked about how you should always do everything in your life intuitively. Like you should just listen to your body and that's what will create like balance within your body. Um, cause she spoke about how when she first started health coaching, she would tell everybody like, oh, just eat right, just eat right, just eat right. You know, just do like vegan, do vegetarian. Like she would just always tell people like just to eat right. And her clients were like, she was like in a really nice part of like California and her clients were super healthy. They were going to yoga. They were exercising every day. And they was, she said that they were still coming into her office like with thyroid problems. Some of them would have like severe headaches and like they would still but technically be unhealthy. Like they would be like having all types of stress problems. Like just different things like that and she would just like be like what's going on like I'm prescribing you guys to eat healthier and that's still not working so what she found out after like going into I guess research with herself personally and then like talking to other health coaches they came to realize that if you just focus on your diet like your diet is actually they teach us in um, holistic health coaching that your diet is actually secondary and your primary your primary food is the best and and that's what shapes your life and that's like your how you are with your family your relationship are you always giving love and then opening up yourself for love to come back to you those mostly are like the healthiest and the happiest people is, is what she was saying basically and so um that stuck with me for a while but i didn't sway like i'm not a person that's gonna be like i hear hear something one time and i'm just like okay i'm gonna go with it so i still was staying like with my diet that i originally was doing which was um a very strict like vegan diet that was like years ago when i graduated from my holistic health coaching but it came up again it came up again a year later and then it came up again towards the, the end of the summer um there were like different people telling me like you need to um switch up your diet because you have a very healthy lifestyle but your diet is no longer like serving you like you have to like switch it up and i'd be like oh okay and i just wouldn't do it well fast forward to the end of summer i decided to actually go ahead and take my diet and switch it up just to see what would happen so i added in fish no beef i still don't eat beef i don't think i will ever eat meat me eat beef um no I eat like I swear like I can't even say it. no I'm not even gonna say that because I don't even eat chicken I do eat chicken it's like super super small amount and it comes from Whole Foods I normally don't buy it like maybe if um maybe if I'm like getting something off the Whole Foods bar and I like get like <laughs> one little meatball or um that's made from chicken or something like that but like as far as me personally like making chicken i don't do that i rather eat turkey um so my diet pretty much consists of when it comes to meat my diet pretty much consists of fish salmon i don't eat tilapia um cod and sometimes i eat crab because i absolutely love crab like honestly the best so i still eat fresh fresh fruits and vegetables i still eat mostly vegan when it comes to like certain meals like you guys will still see me eating mostly vegan because that's what makes me feel the best but i realized that when you try to make your life like all one thing it's like one extreme to the next like if you try to make your life all one thing like i'm only going to eat um this this and that and i'm never going to allow myself to go outside of that bubble you're technically on and this is how she explained in her in her um 
seminar as well you're technically on the extreme side of living like you don't have any balance like pretty much your scale like if you had a scale your scale will be like you know you're all the way over here and what happens when you're on a scale and you're all the way like and you're like you know it's like one side is not level so i realized that everything in life has to have balance now with that being said if you're a person who eats very very bad and now you decide i'm gonna go vegan well your scale is now going to go balance because you've been eating like horrible for all these years so now you're gonna balance out your diet by eating like more fruits and vegetables that's good but i just feel like that you should just listen to your body you have to listen to your body within your entire life with everything that you do it's so important to listen to your body so if your body's telling you like oh no like it's time to switch it up switch it up like if we were still in the same mindset that we were in years and years ago as a country there's a time to evolve and there's a time to um push forward and you have to pay attention to when that time arrives listen to what your body is saying to you if one day you wake up and you're like oh my god i need fruit but then you go and you get like a mcdonald's burger which i i still don't condone fast food but that's my personal press uh, preference i don't condone that but say if you did that you're now out of sync with what your body just told you so of course later on you're gonna feel bad and also if you eat something and this is what i do as well if i eat something and it does not make me feel good i will not eat that i will not continue to eat that just because i feel like that's the right thing to do or just because it's good if i don't feel good after i eat something that's my body telling me like no and i definitely listen i feel like that having a like a really really balanced diet is definitely you just listening to your body for instance like if you go out one day and you eat um not as healthy well within that month try not to do that again or within those next few weeks try not to do that again for me if i eat something bad i will go no joke i will go about like two to three three months without doing that again just because i want to keep everything like weighed out now i am like pretty much testing everything out so this is not like the final for me i don't believe but i'm just like letting you guys know the updated because there were uh, a lot of people asking me what current what am i doing currently with my diet and also people were wanting to know if i still do my holistic health coaching and stuff of course i have my certificate but um i'm just taking like what i know and i pretty much put that into like my youtube videos and i like put it into my products and stuff like that but i feel like soon i'll be back on the ball with like really helping people when it comes to holistic health i'm trying this out uh it looks so good it's pretty much um kombucha yeah it's kombucha it's a tonic drink so it has yerba mates i never heard of that peppermint hibiscus and lemon and it's for a healthy gut so i'll be drinking that after i finish eating my food by the way um if any of you are wondering i don't eat um meat every single day like if i eat salmon one week i'll go like like two to three weeks without eating salmon or i won't eat salmon like i just don't, i just try to keep it at a balance and i try not to put too many rules on myself i just try to try to listen to how my body feels because it normally normally that's like the best way like listen to your intuition listen to what your body's saying to you and you will get far in life so good there's a falafel patty in there made from chickpeas i've also been giving up uh gluten i found that gluten was not as good for me so so i've been trying to eat as little as possible when it comes to gluten because i just know that stuff is not good for me not to eat in large amounts like i was eating <laughs> Dried flat. It's blow dried flat. It's blow dried flat. 
but as y'all can see it is beautiful it's a little it's very frizzy in the you know but it's okay fluffy hair oh you guys look wait dang it i was trying to show y'all okay i'm just bored okay you guys so it's the next day as naraya told you guys um I am about to go get a massage. I've been needing to do like some self care. So I thought it'd be great to go get a, like a massage. So I'm actually in the studio right now. And 